Hello, this is Daniel Blaze. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. In this one, we're going to be installing Optifine for a 1.17 snapshot. That's pretty crazy. That's right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the first ever Optifine release for 1.17 it's for a snapshot i'm going to just be very honest with you it's not the full 1.17 release but we are going to be able to use shaders in 1.17 snapshots so we can actually play somewhat of the new version 1.17 but with shaders so i'm going to show you how to do it of course as always if you're into videos like this one be sure to hit that big red subscribe button if you actually like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and i keep saying this but if you are interested in a good and reliable minecraft server then be sure to check out my affiliate link down below in the description to apex minecraft hosting and then without further ado here's how to install optifine for minecraft 1.17 so first things first before we can get started all you gotta do is actually launch minecraft using the minecraft launcher then what you want to do is actually come over to installations right here click new installation Actually, before we do that, make sure you actually have snapshots selected right here. Now click new installation, name this one 21W08B, because that is the snapshot we're gonna be downloading. Then come over to version right here, click this, and scroll down just a little bit to where you see snapshot 21W08B. You click that, you click create, and then click play. This will actually download and install 21W08B to your computer. Now you just got to wait for that to finish. And then once we're actually in Minecraft, we can just click quit game. So there we go. As you can see, we made it into 21W08B. Just click quit game. Now you want to open up your browser. Just pick any browser you want. You can also use the links down below in the description. So you don't have to look anything up yourself. So the first thing we're going to do is actually download Optifine. But normally you can just go to optifine.net but not this time, but not this time. This time I will provide you with the link down below in the description to the direct download page because you cannot find it under downloads right here. So here it is. This is the actual link. You just click this. This will open up a tab with a download link. You can either click this word, the sentence right here or click download. What you want to do is close this tab as soon as it downloads because it's going to open up an ad. Now what we actually have here is a .jar file. So what you want to do is actually click keep here and just go over to your downloads, either by pressing Control J or go into your downloads on your computer. And as you can see, it should have this Java icon, but for some people it does not. So what you do in that case, I have a link down below in the description to Jarfix, which is a very easy program that you can run to actually fix jar file extensions. So you come over to this website, you click jarfix.exe right here, you download it, you click it, you click yes, and if it says successfully fixed jar files, then you're good to go. You can now open the Optifine installer. If it says something like you need to download this and that, then use the second link down below in the description to Java, which will actually take you to this page. And over here, you just have to click agree and start free download. It's very simple, it's very straightforward. If you use the links down below in the description, they are safe. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, after you actually finish downloading and installing Java, you're going to want to go back to your downloads, click show in folder, then right click this file and click open with, and it should be here. If it didn't already fix it automatically with the installation, then you can do it this way and Java should be here. Now you just click this one right here or just double click the installer that works too. You get this one where it says Optifine HD Ultra for Minecraft snapshot 21W08B. So that is a, an official 1.17 snapshot. All you got to do now is click install. Just wait a few seconds and there we go. Optifine is successfully installed. That's pretty cool. Now what we need to do is actually download a shader pack. I'm going to download a very low end one. The one linked down below in the description. It's called Chakapik the Toaster Edition. It will run on pretty much any system, even on Intel Integrated. So you should be able to run this shader on your PC. So this is the page that you should see if you use the link down below in the description. Just come down here where it says Chakapik High Performance Toaster. That's the one with the R. The one with the B is a better version with lower FPS. You can pick either one of them. They both work the same, but I'm going to go with the toaster one right here. Click the download button. Over here, once again, we'll get some ads. Just don't click anything and wait five seconds for the download to start. There we go. 
Now this is a .zip file, don't change that, just drag that over to your desktop so it will be very easy to actually put into Minecraft as soon as we launch that. Now all we need to do is open Minecraft, make sure to select the Optifine profile that we just created by installing Optifine, this one that says 21W08B, or go over to installations and it should be right here. Now click play you'll get this pop-up if this is the first time you play Optifine. Click I understand the risks if you actually read this, then click play and wait for the game to load. Okay, so that's actually it. This is pretty much it. We're almost there. As you can see, it's now Minecraft 21 WOAB modded, which means that if we go over to options right here, video settings, it should say, let me make this a little bit bigger and a little bit easier to see. In the bottom left corner, it now says Optifine HD in Minecraft 1.17 or at least a snapshot. Now we have this shaders button right here and as you can see it's already there because I already had this shader pack but it shouldn't be here if you've never installed Optifine. Just go to shaders folder in the bottom left corner. Let me do that again in the bottom left corner. Click shaders folder. This is the folder where you actually want your shaders to go. So of course I can't remove this one but I'm going to just add the same one again and it will ask me to replace the file for you. It shouldn't do that. I'm going to just skip this because it can't replace the file because Minecraft is already using it. But there we go. Now the shader pack is in here. You just close this window. And if you come back into Minecraft, it should be here now. If it's not, just click done, done again. Go to the main menu and go back to video settings and shaders and it should now be here because sometimes it needs a minute to refresh. And now even though the shader is here, by default off should be selected and what you need to do is click the shader you want to use. This can be any shader you want by the way. It can be BSL shaders, it can be SUS, but we're going to use Chocopic because like I said it runs on anything. Now click done, done, and done again. And now if you actually create a single player world, let me create a new one. New world doesn't really matter. I'm gonna make it creative and click create new world. And as you can see, here we are in a brand new Minecraft 1.17 world. Let me prove to you that this is actually 1.17. There we go. That's deep slate gold ore, stuff like that. I mean, it's been retextured a bunch of times, I believe, but that's it. This is actually 1.17. It's a snapshot, I know, but this is 1.17. That's really how cool this is. So I won't bother you any longer. This is pretty much it. You can go actually play Minecraft 1.17 with shaders now. Even though it's a snapshot, we can finally experience shaders in 1.17. If you enjoyed this video, of course, and if it did actually work and helped you out in installing Optifine, then be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more of these kinds of videos, and of course, as always, I'll just catch you in the next one. See ya!